So I'm going to talk to you about uh, getting a species list for a location. So we got a field trip coming up, our next field trip, and it's going to be to the uh, Carver Rural State Natural Area, uh, which is in Carver Rural Park here. Uh, Clinton, not too far south, mostly of Whitewater. So uh, here it is on a map. I just did a Google map search to locate the place we're going to be. And I'm going to be able to use the Consortium of Midwest Herbaria site to search for plant specimens that have been found in that area. So if I go over here, uh, you can find this website with a web search, Consortium of Midwest Herbaria. Over here on specimen search, you can search just by name. Yeah, we're going to do map search. So click on map search. It's going to pull up a map. Uh, we're back. Familiar territory. I guess we have to zoom in quite a bit here. So tuck in, uh, find our bearings, Fort Atkinson, Whitewater, uh, zoom in a little bit more. There we go, Clinton. Uh, and here's our park. I don't know if you can see where the mouse is right now, circling around Carver Rule Park. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. And you can get as specific as you want. Uh, maybe if you want to look for plants that could be found in similar habitats, you might extend out your uh, your your box we're going to draw. Or you could just draw and say, I want to know exactly what's just in that park. Uh, so open search panel here. And nope, I'm sorry. I always have to kind of remember this again. So in the middle here, I'm going to go up to uh, draw a rectangle. And I'm gonna draw just a little, a very generous rectangle around that. Uh, maybe someone was just outside the park and collected a species that might be interesting to us. Uh, then we do open search panel, map options. Uh, where are we at here? Okay, so let me try this one. I, I always have to remember how this goes. Um, I'm not looking for any particular species. I just wanna get everything that fits in that circle or in that rectangle. And here we go. So I uh, just did a blank search. And I get all these points and it's returned to me a map. And I can click on one of these. Uh, if you have multiple site or multiple collections from the same points or depending on the, uh, the scale you've got your map at, um, we've got four at least specimens that are tracking to that location here. So click on, this doesn't always work for me. Um, here's a bunch from the same place. Let me see if we can just get a single, there we go. See details, maybe I should have done that before. Uh, see details, it pulls up the specimen. Uh, and here we've got, we got species, uh, Sclepias tuberosus, the uh, tuberosa, the uh, butterfly weed is a milkweed. Um, let's see, records, uh, I can do this download here. So it's got a list of species and uh, these are plant specimens. So they've got their corresponding um, collection date, collector, and so on, their, their official numbers, what herbarium they're located in. And uh, it looks like a lot of these are from qu quite some time in the past. Uh, that's going to be okay, but you want to keep that in mind as we are uh, moving forward. You know, we're, we're in modern time. There might have been a species that no longer exists in that place, uh, kind of depending on the, the habitat uh, and the history. So I'm going to try the uh, download option here. Uh, you can download all these. Download data, and I'll just throw it on my uh, downloads folder. And um, the format for records like this is uh, Symbiota format, and it's actually a zipped folder. Um, the resource you want to get here is uh, occurrences. So we can do occurrences. And uh, this is a comma delimited file. You can pull this straight into uh, Microsoft Excel, if you wanted to. I guess we, we got some time here, so I will uh, fire up Excel, see how that goes. Okay, so uh, we've got Microsoft Excel open. You can also do this in uh, Google, like a Google Sheets document. Um, let's just open a blank workbook, and I'm going to uh, do an open of the uh, comma delimited file. So here's our symbiota, we'll go with occurrences. Um, that'll pull up a spreadsheet we can work with. And uh, like I said, it's got a lot of information. This is probably all that we're interested in here is uh, scientific names. So we could um, 
grab the species from that list. Um, let me show you a little trick. One thing we could do is to do the uh, unique function and just say, uh, return for me all the unique names in column O. So between O and O, um, spill, baby. I don't do this very often. All right, I'll be honest, I forget how this works. Spill it out. Oh, it's still not happy. <laughs> I think it knows what it wants, but uh, okay. Well, uh, let's skip that for now. But we could uh, sort this by alphabet and get a, a list of the unique names that are present there. Um, one thing you might want to just check out is um, you can take these species and, and kind of prepare yourself to what you're going to see in the field. Let me see if I can find a, a little more interesting one. Um, uh, all right, Desmodium glutinosum. Sure, we ran into that one of the other habitats. Uh, you could just do a Quick web search on your species name. Uh, this is a good resource. The Minnesota wildflowers, nice, reliable resource. Um, maybe not as much in the form of whole plant images. So there's a, a good one. This one we ran into uh, earlier this summer. We didn't have it in flower, but maybe we'll get this one in flower. So um, if you really want to like prepare yourself and save some time for identifying plants in the field, you could pull up a list of the species you might find and uh, prepare yourself as kind of a checklist for what you should find on the site. So uh, I'll have a list for you on uh, for our next field trip and you can use that then. <laughs>